Oh, dang. I look at these things and I'm like, I could never amount to this. Look at this stuff. That's good, too. I do, I do really like that. That's great. That's really nice. I love the Asian aesthetic. Alright, let's get going. I want to build things. I still need to speak with you people. Let's see now. You've repaired the room. That's sorted out my sleeping arrangements. Made me supper. I do believe that's everything. It's a real relief to have a builder around. Uh, I know you're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more to work to so that you might blossom as a builder. Thank goodness, more work, less building. The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. Yep, delightful. Absolutely fun. And as for you, Malroth, this could be a perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, and maybe even some manners. Ooh, uh, go out at first light every morning and forge 30 scallywinkles and fit. No! That's so much work, and that doesn't involve building whatsoever, and that's why I got the game I want to build. Just let me build. So much tutorial. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all our nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. It's okay, Malroth. We all can't be this awesome. Sigh. Hey, Silver. Can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Heck yeah, dude. Give it a go. I watch you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this. Now then, what was it you do first? Dink, dink, dink. All right, you asked for it. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Ah, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Silver. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. How about something to kill with? That sounds like a perfect idea. I'm gonna make you things that you smash with. Yeah, I'm, make, I'm making it. I'm making it. Calm, calm your buttons. Okay. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? You hit things with it. Yeah, you can use it to whack stuff. Sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it. Give it here. And here you go. This really is a club and a half. wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give it a few swings. Clap, clap, clap. I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. Yep, murder. Satisfying, good old-fashioned murder. And to think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Silver. This club is the best present anyone's given at me. I think. Can you feel that? <gasps> Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster. But whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes. <laughs> This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh game. Yep, that's Dash. There we go. Oh, no! Yeah. Okay. Destruction! Dismemberment! Huh? Ow. Ow. Yay! Oh, I love it. That's a high five. It's called a high five? It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh, I never thought of myself as the touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high-five malarkey. 
Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Yeah, level up. Boink. We reach level two. Maximum HP increases. Uh, yeah. Feel good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little witch has been well and truly scratched. But don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do. But I guess wanton destruction is much more my bag. I feel you, Malroth. I feel you. On a completely spiritual level. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. All the bedding. She's a wily one, all right. Sleep with one eye open. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. Doop. Time to hit the hay. Run, 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 run. Naruto, run. Mine. Mine. Sleep. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your, your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the... Ah! No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my Scallywinkle. It's disappeared. What? All right, Malroth, own up. I know it was you. I, pur I purposely only ate half of what's that... Huh? I purposely only ate half of that seared Scallywinkle last night. So I could sa save have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. Man, why am I just like... Some of these text boxes... I just like break. My brain just doesn't work anymore. I mean, it never really has worked, but... What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. What is that? Okay, no, the developer just has it out for me, and they want me to say these awful things. Ah, there's the culprit. That monster must be the one who snaffled my scallywinkle. I'm gonna need to not do this. Is it... I think alliteration is whenever it's a bunch of vowels. Ho, ho, ho. Santa? I want that ability. Just, you know, level things into a nice little stairway. Are those steps? This way, young whip whip whippersnappers. Delightful. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm, on second thoughts, maybe it'd be able to tell us something about this island. Silver, Lulu, let's get after this monster. I've got some questions that need answering. Nope, wrong button. We're gonna go this way. This way, this way. Quick, quick. Stay where you are, you freaky fogey. Fogey. Don't like this one bit. That mad old monster has even made the sky turn a funny color. Who cares about the stupid sky? I want my breakfast and you two are going to jolly well help me get it back. This way, kitty, kid, kid, kitty winkles. Nearly there. Just teleports three feet. Oh, goodbye. can't run very far. I need more stamina. Need to condition myself. Exercise. I'm talking about the game. And real life. Whoa. What's a place like this doing on a desert island? Deserted. That's 
This island isn't just desert, is it? It might be. It might actually be just desert. Come on, Silver. The Hammerhood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all the island's secrets. There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve, and no one gets hurt. Bivalve? Well, now I'm interested. What is, what is a bivalve? A bivalve, an aquatic mollusk that has a compressed body enclosed within a hinged shell, such as oysters, clams, mussels, and scallops. Bivalvia is an animal or a mollusk. Like, I've never heard this before in my life. I mean, I, I don't disagree. Yeah, it's probably a thing. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammerhood her half snarfed leftovers. Well, this is gonna be a long game. It must have taken the writer, the writer of this game, just hours to write a single section because they're like, it needs to rhyme. It needs to rhyme, it needs to have alliteration, everything needs to match, it needs to be impossible to read quickly. I need to draw out the runtime. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing, no ifs or buts about it. Silver seared that scallywinkle, especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. What is going on? Am I going insane? Oh my gosh, I think I might... This is it. Ah yes, Silver. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for, oh, for a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. You're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum, scrum, scrumptious scallywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. This is, this isn't how normal people talk. And, like, I know there's nothing normal about this. This guy, there's a talking hammerhood, and then there's this lady, and... Okay, okay. Look around you, Silver. The temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Um, fix it, Felix, and I'm gonna fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find the guy the going diff diff difficult without a blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger. If you think you're, we're going to fix your house for free, you've got another thing coming. It's fine, I can't fix it. What's a blueprint? Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a thingy that you put on the ground, and then you follow the instructions, and then it makes something. We're all good. We're all fine. Everything's good here. It's just, I can finally get to build something. Place masonry walls, braziers, braziers. We're gonna have to place braziers, brazers. Okay. Yes. Wrong button. Place. Okay. I didn't want to talk to you, I'm just... Boink, boink. And... Eh. Boink. Ta-da! Hey. He's got to jump so high to do that. How did you come up with the blueprint in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back has everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. You're busted now. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. You won't? Why not? Something the matter, Silver? You've gone all red. Wait, you don't have a mucky magazine sandwiched between those pages, do you? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> what? What is going on? Why? Ho, ho, ho. Santa's come to stop this conversation. <laughs> you finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down. I could have been... <laughs> I knew you would let me down. 
All it took was a glance, and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. Is he, like, laughing? Oh, that's kind of eerie. Next. Oh, it's very bright out all of a sudden. As a thank you, I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it. Do 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 do. Bash blocks to bits with big hard hits. Silly old hammer. Thought you were going to give me a bit breakfast. It's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the tool kit 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 of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. It also, I also have another cork, cork, corking gift for you, Silver. I'm sure you'll like this one. Cork? Corking? I give you this island. All of it. Every last block, block, block. Yes, my own island. To do with what I see fit. You're giving me this entire island? <laughs> giving me. No, Lulu. He's giving me this entire island. We can get a nice cinematic shot. Yeah. You know what? I stand corrected. It might legitimately be a desert island. Uh, this world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. But now, everything has crumb crumb crumbled away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief, and bed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. Long have I waited for another builder to come, one who can bring life to this barren land, block by block, block, block. What is that? Is that different from the switch one? Because that doesn't look like... Because I did play it on the Switch, and there was the, the one section that we saw, the second section. I don't know this section with the blue... Uh, with, with the blue one there. And we don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes. Well, it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Silver. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around too, at least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Silver? Will you take the island? It's a stonk, stonk, stonking good offer. <laughs> what is that? What's what's that meme? Yeah, it's, it's the one with the guy, and he's just like, stonks. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can be begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a palace. Malroth, I need you to... Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we establish Malroth's empire of evisceration. Right, Silver? And she can be our first sacrifice. Holy crap! Like, I know we haven't really talked about this, but Malroth, calm down. We're not murdering each other yet. Ho ho ho, you young upstarts. This island belongs to Silver now. You should leave big, big, big decisions like these up to him. Now, Silver, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. Okay. Destruction! Violence! Uh, you know, we've got business to do. Business. Um, um, um. Got places to be, buildings to build. Uh, I can't see you making much more progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. I know that little lass, lass, lassie. Uh, there's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Sounds great. Next, as uh, so young's damn damn damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in the useful materials as an aspiring builder. Are you just getting worse as you're talking? But even if you have everything you needed, I doubt you would make much headway with just the three of you. 
wood and stone are all well and good, but what you need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat, rat, rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven up the place. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get these other islands without a ship? Top-notch question, indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. No, you can't see that. That's too far away. A ship? Whoever would have thought it. I just love that this guy shows up and he's just looking around. He's like, huh. An island. Uh, you can cut all the guardian gibberish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back to me if I watch Silver working his building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. Yes, let's go. Now this kelp will help me fly. Fly! <laughs> Take damage from heights. Yeah, that makes sense. Ahoy there, my briny bilge rats. I haven't seen any, hu any other human for fathoms. For humans for fathoms. Yeah, uh, fathoms is a distance. The name's Brownbeard. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me, my, minding me bees knees, when I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargon's slave ships. I managed to avoid them, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized my map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on my port board. Bow and point and punt it over. Port board bow. It's the left side of the ship. So what's your story? How did you young whi snapper whippers, that's whipper snappers, sir, end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia, or at least it will be once Silver here is finished with it. Listen, woman, I will slap you so hard if you dare interrupt me again. Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. I and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> Malroth is just my inner, my inner monologue at all times. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. Chauffeur, 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 chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on my map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck, and I don't know me neck at all. But if you hear me, if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry you over. Well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks indecent, Nick. I'd say you've got a deal. Ho, ho, ho. It seems everything is drop, drop, dropping into place. Fine, Captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able bod bod bodied helpers to help bring back. Well, the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. You can picture it now, trees lined, boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit fruit fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming, and a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your ca your cause. I'll mark 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 it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster, Silver. Come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons last time I checked. <laughs> it's, but, it's, so, it's so good. It's hilarious. It's great. Okay, ahoy, let's go. Furrowfield it is. Next. Yes. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You'll have to leave behind everything you gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Yep, yep. Silver, Malroth, you've decided to go to this new island then. Well, yeah. We all decided like two minutes ago. Yep, not even two minutes ago. It's like 30 seconds ago. Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Lulu. You're coming too. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What? Thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hargon's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach setting foot on boat right now. On a boat right now. 
But don't let that stop you from exploring this furrow field place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you know. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lulutopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island to, into a green and pleasant land. Present land. This land is stuck in the past. We need to bring it to the present. Together we can make Lulutopia a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Oh, now she's royalty, she says. You two go off, off, off on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. Not if those rats show back up. As if we can trust a word you say. Still, it's only Lulu's neck on the line. Dang, boy. Alright, let's roll. We round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. I like it. It's, it's getting to be a real dystopia going on here. We can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage. Come on, Silver. I can't wait to see what Feral Field is like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. Sounds like a good time. There is only one who can save this world from oblivion. Malroth, the Lord of Destruction. Hey, that's my new buddy's name. Here we are at last. That hairy hermit's got a nerve, sending us all the way out here on a boat like this. The way it was listing from side to side, I'm amazed we made it here at all. Well, list or no list, you're sound and safe on dry land now. Welcome to Fur Furrowfield. Yar. At least I assume it's Furrowfield. I ain't never heard of the place myself, but it don't look like Baron or Zahan. I can tell you that much. Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get the lie of the sea. But don't worry, I won't sail away into the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home. I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, Silver, let's get going. I want to see what this island's got in store for us. Me too. I'll finally get down to business. This island is pretty weird, don't you think? The trees are all withered, the ground is gross and slimy, and the whole place stinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a month. Do you really think we'll find greenery here, we're after, in a slimy, stinky place like this? Huh? Whoa, what the heck is that? Some kind of pink, pulsating thing. But what is it? Well, what's this say? Welcome to Furrowfield, the land of plenty. Please stop by the farm and enjoy some delicious, freshly baked bread. Neat. Oh, that's nice. Whatever this is, I'm gonna hit it. I think it's some kind of fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. It's a fruit. Do you reckon the whole thing's edible, or...? Blah. That stupid thing just blew up in my face. What a stink. It's turned the dirt around it into all gross and slimy, too. I've heard of a fruit going off before, but not like that. This place is crazy. Huh? I smell a fight brewing, Silver. Over there. <laughs> Help! Well, leave me alone. There's no point trying to eat me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. Ah! Eek! Sounds like fun. Come on, let's go see what all this screen's about. Only you, Maroth, would find delight in someone else's misfortune. I appreciate it, I really do. Baboons! Oh. How much? That deals like one damage. How much is. Oh, I only have. Okay, that deals a little bit more. Jump! 
Give it. Kill it with wood. Ow, that hurt. Yep. Just like two more hits. Yeah. The bad boons. That'll teach those monkeys to mess with us. Right, time to get some info out of Sally Screams a lot. Hello. So this is how I die. As dinner for a big stinky ape. I hope I give them horrible indigestion. Just a spite. Wait, the monsters. Those scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. I'm just standing right here. Yeek! Since, since when have you two been standing there? Forever. Since you beat the monsters? Oh, I see. Thanks for the help. My name's Rosie. What's yours, and what are you doing here? My name's Silver, and I'm here to take you back to our Empire of Evisceration. To work and work as slaves in the field until you kill over. He's Malroth, the amnesiac, and you're Silver, the apprentice builder. And you've come here to find out how to add a little greenery to your island? You know, going around telling everyone you're a builder is risky business. There's no telling how they might react. You're lucky you met me, and I might be lucky that I met you. Hmm. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few rules. As the finest farmer in Furrowfield, it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. Yep, you can lead the way. Well, look at it. It's so... beautiful. A little strange pattern in the soil. Alright. Well, here we are. Furrowfield Farm. The greatest, greenest garden on the island. How do you like it? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's not that great. It's not very green. It isn't even a garden. Oh, I know. That's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? Furrowfield used to be the be a plant lover's paradise, with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. But then the spoil spores appeared, and turned all the earth into horrible, stinky slime, and you can hardly even grow weeds in it. There was once a great farm here, the biggest and brightest on the whole island, and if all of us put our minds to it, I think we can bring it back. All of us? Are those guys mixed up in this too? Come, Perry, there must be something we can do. This is the last of our wheat, not to mention the soil. We've scanned enough arable earth as it is. I won't stand so close if I were you, Mr. Bonanza, sir. This ear spoil, sp spoil spore looks like it could go off any minute. Suffering slimes? Bonanzo? Bonanzo? Perry, are you alright? Quick, you two. We have to get over there and make sure they're okay. Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? We are, Rosie, but alas, our weed is not. That spoil spore just obliterated the entire crop. Hmm, and who are you two, pray tell? Not seeing your faces before, and to be honest, I think I rather like it that way. This is Silver, and this is Malroth. Silver says he's a builder. Blimey, heck. What kind of feller goes around telling everyone he's a builder? He must have something wrong with his head. Well said. Listen here, young Rosie. You may have fooled us this far, but we shall not be taken for ninnies. If you honestly expect us to believe that this so-called builder will somehow sa salvage this preposterous plan of yours, you are gravely mistaken. Come along, Perry. We're leaving. Oh, uh, all right. You must face facts, dear. Furrowfield Farm is gone. The dream is over, and it is time to wake up. Well, they didn't go too far. Uh, that stuck-up, beardy bloke really rubbed me up the wrong way. Still, facial hair felonies aside, he's got a point. Facial hair felonies. Jeez, Malroth. I mean, I've got a beard going too, but wouldn't call it a felony. 
There's no point trying to rebuild this farm if the soil's no good. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. I'm the finest farmer on Furrowfield, and Silver's a real live builder. If we work together, I know we can do it. Wow, you really don't know when to give up, do you? Why do you want to rebuild this place anyway? Why? It's like Bonanzo said, it's my dream. A dream, huh? You know, I never really got my head around all this hopes and dreams stuff people go on about. Please, Silver, I can't do it on my own. You'll help me rebuild for Ophiel Farm, won't you? Heck yeah. Yippee, now that I've got a builder on board, the farm's as good as built. Silver, Malroth, welcome to the team. We're going to make this place the best farm ever. Let's get started then, shall we? The first thing we'll need is a field to plant our crops in. Hmm, where is the best place to put it, I wonder? If only we had some kind of sign. It's probably gonna be over there. Where the rest of the, you know, dirt is. Is that a scarecrow? Yeah, a scarecrow. What's the matter, Silver? You're looking very pleased with yourself. You've worked out how to build with scarecrows? Of course, scarecrows are always found in fields. If we stick one in the ground, everyone will know that's where your field starts. Your, our new field is... Hmm. Yeah, those guys are still just... Still just hanging out over there, huh? Maybe they're, maybe they're having second thoughts. Uh, hmm. So where should we put it? Ooh, I know. Just the spot. There's a little bit of good, clean soil over there. I'm so excited I can hardly wait to start tilling the soil. But not until you officially mark the field with the scarecrow, of course. If you need materials, you can get cord from the vines that grow around here and wood from the trees. Just hit them with your hammer. Go on, build us a scarecrow. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna take this down. I don't, I don't like this here. Blink, blink, blink. Yep, nope, down. Dunk, 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 dunk. Just gonna try and tear everything apart. Get ready for what will be the most magnificent farm anyone has ever seen. Get rid of this stuff. That's broken. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. This place is a mess. I love just wailing away on those things. So what if we didn't even just stick around to help? What if we just straight up took all this stuff and was just like, all right, bye, that's what we needed. Did you just tell him a joke? Dude, that's adorable. Destruction. Violence. Missed. No, come back. Got it. Okay, I'll just build this. Build one of these bad boys. Place a scarecrow. I'll just place it over here. Yoink. That was anticlimactic. Me yoink. Ooh, yeah. Is that what I think it is? It is. Now that we have a scarecrow, everyone will know where to plant our crops. Alright, we can leave the next step to me. It's tillin' time. <laughs> Just reminds me of, uh... It's turbo time! Come on, Rosie, we don't have all day. Well, literally, I think we do. I'm gonna keep this tree here. It's a nice little tree. Besides, I've got so much wood. So much wood. These can go away, though. No one needs a fence two, two posts high. Silver obtained strange something. That's helpful. Ah, uh, farming's so much fun. I'm so happy I could pop. You looked pretty cheery just now, too. <laughs> yeah, jeez. 
You looked pretty cheery just now, too, waving your arms in the air with a big grin on your face. What was that about? Huh? Something popped out of me? And you picked it up? Well, that is the... That is one of the most awkward dialogue boxes I've read in my whole life. Hmm, I did feel like I was bursting with gardening glee just now. Maybe, just maybe, some of that happiness actually burst out. Yeah, we'll call it... We'll call it happiness. Well, whatever it was, it's sure to come in useful. If any more of them pop out of me, make sure you scoop them all up. Uh, I don't like it. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Here, let me just scoop up all of your quote-unquote happiness. Oh, I can't even destroy the broken stuff. But it looks so bad. What do you think, Silver? I've tilled the earth around the Scarecrow. I couldn't have done it without you. With your excellent inventions and my farming finesse, we'll be able to make some fantastic fields. I knew there was something special about you from the moment we met. After all, not everyone would risk their life telling a stranger they're a builder. I've not been called smart. You don't see what's so dangerous about that. Have you ever have you been living on a rock or something? Everyone knows that builders are the enemy. But anyway, we'd better get back to business. We have a field. Now let's grow some crops. Heck yeah, let's do it. Right, now that the soil's all ready, the next thing to do is plant some seeds. Here you go, Silver. These are for you. Just happen to have some seeds. Yeah, let's plant these seeds. To be honest, plowing is easy peasy. Anyone with a hoe can do it. But it takes a steady hand and a keen eye to plant a seed properly. I think you're just the man for the job. There should be five cabbage seeds there all together, Silver. Let me know when they're all resting happily in the soil. Plant my seed. Nope. Boink. 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 Good work, Silver. You planted all the seeds, and you did a lovely job of it, too. Just wait until Bonanzo and Perry see this. They'll be begging for a piece of that agricultural action. It just it sounds like such a nerdy, like, flex. I love it. Soon enough, the se soon enough, the seeds will sprout, and we'll be one step closer to fulfilling my dream. Nom, 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 nom. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm going to stop this episode here. So next time we'll pick up and we'll start building our farm. Because it is a mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time.